discovered the craziest way to play Splite in the TCG. Brand new TCG Splite combo. And it is going to make this deck tier zero. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. And comment down below if you guys are ready for tier zero format, baby. I'm going to show you guys right now the brand new Splite combo that is going to conquer the TCG. It is absolutely unreal. You guys need to stay tuned to the end of the video to watch it. Before we get into this video, make sure, guys, to check out the most beautiful play match in Yu-Gi-Oh! history down in the description below. Sadly, our Splite playmat is sold out. We still have awesome playmats such as Beyond the Pendulum, El Lich, all sorts of things down in the description below. And make sure to check out the Patreon for Splite training, Yu-Gi-Oh! training, and Master Duel training. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Brand new TCG Splite combo. Let's go. The very first replay I'll be showcasing against my boy Blade YGO. I'm going to show you guys right now how amazing this combo actually is. You're going to notice a card that is typically not in OCG decks, and that is Emergency Teleport. Now, the biggest part of this combo, pay very close attention. If you guys could listen to anything and stay tuned to the end of the video, so you guys can actually see the combo, see the deck profile and all that. The biggest part of this combo is the utilization of Crystron Haki Fibrax. It's not there in the OCG. They don't have Toe. They don't have any of this stuff. So in the TCG... We got to take advantage of these cards. They don't have Italia 3. We don't have uh, Maxi. We don't got to worry about Itali. In this format, Itali is, is absolutely unreal and offers so much more for the deck. So if you guys look, pay close attention here, we're going to Itali summon Psychic Jumper. Now, in my opinion, Psychic Jumper is just the best generic level 2 Psychic Monster. Itali could bring a Ghost Ogre to also make Needle Fiber. Post side deck, it's bringing out Psyframe Gamma. But in the meantime, Jumper is fine. There's some cool plays with Jumper, but it's mainly just a level 2 tuner. Uh, now we're just going to play freely here. I'm going to make sure to set up uh, this setup I'm going to have over here where I have Carrot and Red to take care of Imperm and Valor. And so we're okay with this. And if you look at his hand, he literally has Ash, Imperm, Valor. We're playing around all three of them right now. I don't know what's in his hand. Like, look at, look at Blade's hand right now. This is the most broken hand you could possibly have in this deck. Three hand traps, Diva and Blue. But I'm still going to pull through. He's saving his Ash Blossom specifically for Gigantic Splite. And it's very understandable. So here I'm going to go activate Gigantic Splite. He's going to Ash it. But obviously before I swap Frog, he just is lagging a little bit. So here I'm going to go Gigantic Splite. And he's going to Ash Blossom my Gigantic Splite. All right. At that point, I'm going to use my Red. And he's going to Veiler. I'm like, all right. That's completely understandable. This is where it gets very interesting. So here I'm going to go into Splite Elf. He gains no value from imperming a Splite Elf. No value whatsoever, because if I Splite Elf here and he Imperms it, uh, it doesn't stop the actual combo. I'm going to go Needle Fiber afterwards, I'm gonna have other, or I can keep Splite Elf. He felt that his Imperm is better saved for his turn, because he has a broken hand. So he's going to Imperm any interrupt draw phase, Imperm Splite Elf, and he's good to go. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to link, I'm going to make Needle Fiber. Now this is where it's really interesting. Needle Fiber is going to be summoned under the zone of Splite Elf, which means he cannot Imperm my, splite, my Needle Fiber whatsoever. Splite Elf is broken. Now this is where it gets crazy. We're going to go Needle Fiber Special Ghost Ogre. Seems very simple, right? Well, let's just keep in mind here. I just got double hand trapped. I got double hand trapped. And I'm getting a free interruption here in Ghost Ogre. Completely free. And I'm just going to pass my turn here. And it seems like, oh, where's the combo, Triff? What is this? This is going to go Diva. I'm like, sure, bro. I don't care about a Diva. And now this is where it gets really, really interesting. Needle, I've always said Needle Fiber's best effect is the second effect that could synchro on the opponent's turn. So here, we're going to summon Desert... Uh, first, we're going to use Splite Elf to bring a Splite Jet. We're going to get free value. And then after this, we get the free value. We're going to Needle Fiber here to, for Desert Locust. Why? Because Needle Fiber can bring out two interruptions on the opponent's turn. TG Wonder Magician and Desert Locust. That had to do something on the opponent's turn, like an interruption, on top of the actual Synchro Summon. So we're going to get double effect off of Desert Locust by getting rid of card in his hand. He's going to get rid of the Imperm, understandable. And then I'm going to use Desert Locust second effect to Synchro Summon. At this point, obviously, there's no link in the graveyard for Boral Old Savage Dragon. I go into Draco Berserker Tenny, but because you're looping one card in the hand with Desert Locust, I'm going to go into a Cyframe Omega over here. I'm going to get rid of a second card in his hand, and then I'm also going to ensure that I always have a follow-up of the Splite Starter, Splite Starter, and the Omega. So he's cooked. He, he Actually, he's left with one card now. He's going to special the red, and now what in this scenario could possibly be done? That Needle Fiber was a free Needle Fiber. We didn't go out of our way to make Needle Fiber. It was completely for free and done in engine because there's seven tuners in the deck that are special summonable. Free extender special summons that also could be got from Gigantic Splite if you already have swap frogs. And this is just absolutely amazing how Needle Fiber is a free extender in this deck that nobody utilizes in the, in the OCG. They'll use Needle Fiber in the OCG to bounce a hand trap. 
Fuck bouncing a hand trap. We don't need to do any of that. I would rather ensure extra interruptions against my opponent to make sure he can't do anything to stop him, to stop us. So we just, for free, got hand looped two cards from his hand, and we have an amazing follow-up right now. I'm going to let him go into Needle... I'm going to go through the Needle Fiber so he can't stop my Nibiru uh, with this Splite Red, and then he's going to go into Splite. I'm going to Nibiru. We let him Ash and Starter. It's game over. So that's the gist of the deck. The idea is that Needle Fiber is a free push. It's a free extender that no one is taking care... No one preparing. So when you, when you get double hand trapped, when you get triple hand trapped, as I was over there, you have the free needle fiber to get your interruptions. You will always have a link too. That is like without, it's not with outside the realm of possibility here. You will always have a level two with the Desert Locust. And Desert Locust is just generically the best synchro summon to summon on the opponent's turn. Because you're going to discard your opponent card and you're going to synchro summon again. And synchro eight is fantastic. Let's go. Pen best deck. Here we're going to go Diva. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna summon a splite blue. I'm gonna imprim the splite blue. He goes splite starter. Summons a splite carrot. I'm like, look, his full board doesn't matter. I'm gonna do the old classic, old reliable nip veiler. See you later. And then we're gonna have uh three splites in our hands. So that's gonna be game over here against my boy Blade. I'm gonna show you guys one more replay showcasing this combo. All right, absolutely amazing. Now you guys are gonna witness uh the deck in action again for a second time. Here we're gonna go diva, diva. Here I'm just gonna summon a whole hand of splites because I don't know what he has. So I summoned out some splites. I summoned out a splite right to stop a Nibiru or a Veiler or something like that. But I made sure to save Itali and to save a uh, splite jet just in case I get Nibiru Veilered. I want to play around both. Here he's going to imprint my gigantic splite. All right, this is where the combo is really going to... You guys are going to see how important it is to play in the deck. So at this point, you have no Swap Frog anymore. If you go gigantic splite, Swap Frog is the biggest part and biggest interruption of this deck. Now without it, we have to kind of maneuver and find ways to make other interruptions. And that is where Needle Fiber comes in, in amazing ways. Here, since he imperms, I'm going to go Splite Jet. I'm going to summon the, these two up for Splite Elf. Splite Elf will bring out Diva. I'm going to eat Tally at this point just for a free monster. I'm going to get those two out into Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber, especially our Ghost Ogre. Now, this is a completely free interruption. That is just, we're pushing, getting a free interruption. I'm going to keep the Ghost Ogre there purposely, and I'm going to pass my turn. But it looks like it was so, like, I'm, I'm typically, if you don't play the Needle Fiber package, where's your interruptions? Like, there's no actual interruptions that are getting dropped. You are, the Needle Fiber gives you the free Ghost Ogre, and then it gives you a double hand loop. It's three interruptions for one Needle Fiber. One Needle Fiber gives you fucking three interruptions. So when your Gigantic Splite gets stopped, you have the other most broken extra card in the game in Needle Fiber. Like, this card needs to be banned instantly. This Crystron Halky Fibrax needs to be banned. This is a free three interruption. We're not even doing weird shit like Scythe, which we easily could have gone Dagda and Scythe him. I don't want to play with Scythe because that's for losers. I do like Alexa. You're not a loser here. You're a cool, cool person. Here, we're going to go into Desert Locust. Just discard a free card. You're going to get a free Omega. Discard another free card. These are free cards, guys. Like, like, I can't stress this enough. Like, we just for free, we got rid of two cards in his hand. I understand he chooses one of them with Desert Locust, but who cares? You're putting him in down to a less card. You Omega, get rid of another card. Now, there's only three cards left for him to play with, and he stopped our whole play. This is our, sec this is our tertiary play. No Toad, no problem. Here, we're going to bring a Splite Jet, get more follow-up. What can he do here? Swap Frog. I decide I want to get rid of the Swap Frog from the field so he doesn't, he's not able to special a splite from his hand. I don't know. He has two Italis in his hand. Here, he's going to special splite starter. He's going to add, I'm going to go soaker this because again, I don't want him to special a splite from his hand. He's going to get splite jet and he's going to go Italis. So instantly, the second he Italis, which Italis is so good in this deck. And I really like in the OCG, they don't play it because they only have two Itali and Maxi and all those other shenanigans. They're just going to banish this. See you later. Goodbye. That's banish. And now we're just going to auto win. Look at this. And what, what led to like almost no cards, the, the follow-up of Spite's absurd. Like it's going to lead to absurd boards here. I'm going to summon these out. Uh, also, Omega comes back. That was my, I completely forgot Omega comes back. So I'm just going to attack with Omega. Spite starter attack for game. So here I'm going to show you guys one last. This is game number two of our second match. I'm going to show you guys the deck profile right after that. Uh, he's going to go Prosperity over here. Look at this hand. I have quadruple Hand Trap and Prosperity. And I'm probably going to draw a level 2 in my hand. So he's going to go Swap Frog at this point and let that resolve. Splite Starter, Splite Blue. I don't want him to get access to too many Splites. So I negate the effect of Splite Blue. He's going to go into Rank 2. I'm going to get rid of that with Imperm. And he passes. So he has Imperm and Ash right now. Okay? He went through all this. Now I'm going to show you guys something very cool. A very smart trick right here. Pay close attention. And Pen God called me Splite God moving forward. I'm going to only Splite for 3. The reason why. If you Splite for 6... He will ash it or he will i know he has ash he literally searched it with prosperity so if i do it for six he'll ash it if i prosperity for three he won't ash it and i don't care for ash and imprint this scenario because i just need any level two in my deck even psychic jumper will suffice and so i i get rid of i get swap frog 
activate the effect of swap frog as soon as my prosperity effect uh he lets that resolve good that's just, i wouldn't negate it either if i was him i only have two interruptions there's four cards special splite red i i, I go Sp sky cavalry to destroy gigantic splite destroyed and i zeus everything imperm no problem chain gone so his whole thing's gone now my next play now and it goes swap frog ronin the crazy thing about splite elf is that it only needs one level two that is so absurdly broken uh with zeus so here we're going to use the effect of splite elf the special out splite uh red from my grave i will not see this play i'm not going into gigantic splite because i know he has ash blossom so in this scenario any card he summons will be negated by splite red and i'm gonna get free level twos in the field and this game over he draws into another hand trap and i go effect special run in special splite jet negate and then go gigantic splite special and now just game now there's just no answer he can do i'm gonna go effect to swap frog i'm gonna negate that effect so i can guarantee a toad enter battle he's still alive i think and then there's nothing he could do gg this build of the deck is so absurdly broken that it just solves everything now i'm gonna show you guys a deck list you guys should literally be paying me a thousand dollars to be giving you guys this deck this is the most likely the exact same list card for card i'm going to use to obliterate my opponents when i go to all the regionals after this event or after this uh after poke comes out uh this is the deck list so everyone who wants to know is triple splite blue triple splite jet triple splite starter triple prosperity triple diva triple soft frog these 18 are all 18 starters and three Itali. i can't stress enough how good Itali is Itali makes it so it's not just a level two extender but it's a tuner it's a tuner this is very important so now whether you open diva Itali, psychic jumper or even literally a tuner hand trap having access to seven tuners uh potentially 15 if you want normal summon a hand trap is so vital it's actually so important especially in scenarios where you don't need a normal summon to play having access to needle fiber and then just going into gigantic play after or splite elf is so absurd and it's so good and keeping needle fiber in the field to do plays with desert locust and omega even keeping herald is crazy one splite smashers one ron and toad one psychic jumper it's just generically the best level two psychic you only need one because if you drop more details you go ghost ogre one red one carrot double ogre triple last triple veil triple nibiru triple imperm this is 14 hand traps in the main deck i was testing even playing 16 hand traps in the main deck and playing six uh playing 42 uh because i don't want my opponent to be playing ghost morning would be the next hand trap i would play in the main uh but it's fine because post side deck you have 19. so post side deck against the spike mirror i side all these six the cards that i take out if it's the splite mirror only where i cannot allow them to play would be triple e telly one psychic jumper that's four one splite smashers five and one deep sea diva that's six i would remove those six for these six cards 19 hand traps might seem like a lot but i cannot let my splite player play i cannot let my splite opponent play i i respect this deck too much and it's literally a tier zero format where if my opponent is not playing splite i'm gonna auto win in those other matchups you could side, you don't have to side too much you could even just side out just the hand traps you really don't need that many hand traps you can maybe side out a few stuff but i would advise against any deck that's not combo always keep in the itali with the gamma especially uh yeah and then uh three gamma one driver double corolla one duster three lightning storm i was debating playing more backer removal but it's fine triple d barrier double summon limit uh you have so many hand traps in the main deck that you actually have uh, the ability to play as many go first cards as you like extra deck triple splite elf highly recommend highly recommend triple splite elf one Cerberus, one Phoenix, one Needle Fiber, one Herald of the Arc Light, one Desert Locust, one Omega. All these three synchros come up with the Needle Fiber play. Herald of the Arc Light comes up the absolute least. But it's really cool when you're going for against a board and you're just scared of one interruption they have. And you have a Gabor of Splites and like a Diva or a Jumper or Itali. Just quickly make a Herald. It's actually very va high value. Uh, doubles Gigantic Splite. One Totally Awesome, one Sky Cavalry, one Downer, one Zeus. Deck is honestly absolutely amazing. And I truly believe it's going to be a tier zero format, especially with the needle fiber strategy. So if you're watching this video and don't know how to play Splite, I mean, literally use the needle fiber. Uh, it, it's an extra push to the deck. The deck already has a thousand pushes, but to get an extra needle fiber pushes this deck over the stratosphere to tier zero level. I truly believe that. Thank you guys for watching the video. As you guys saw, yeah, you guys should be thanking me for watching the video because I was insane, baby. That combo was crazy and it's gonna change the game. Needle Fiber bringing out the free interruption with Desert Locust and then making another hand loop card. It's just a free two card hand loop where you're gonna utilize your cards and just defeat them with your actual negates. And I think it's absolutely unreal and amazing. I love it. Uh, if you guys love the video as well, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Don't forget to check out the beautiful playmats down in the description below. They're all uh, labeled very neatly for you guys to check out which ones you like the most. And make sure to check out Patreon. 
but we're going to be showcasing literally Yu-Gi-Oh training bonus videos every single day for every other day. So make sure to go check that out. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.